Shut up. Broke the play. That's the man on After, uh, can I call it a monster week? Oh, man, we was everywhere. If the NBA didn't know us, they know us now. We was everywhere. We, we, we so everywhere, we, we finna start talk, doing the comments. We got some broken play comments. Oh, man, look at the love we receiving. We got to get Stephen A. on broken play, just so Big Nail, all caps, can let him know he don't know shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I need to know who said this, man. I'm loving that. And you know what? I realize people are taking Broken Play serious because we was on different media platforms and people would go and tag, give Broken Play their credit. And it, it, that's bigger than us because they see, they see the brand coming. Let me read another comment. Man, I cannot wait to see this show during football season. Oh, man, clap it up for that. Woo. The young man have a dream. Basketball ain't even over. He ready for football season. That means he's going to be locked in. Oh, my God. I'm scared to read this one. And I did not write it. This is the best show on the 85 South channel. Congrats, Nav. You know I ain't say that <laughs> because I wouldn't have congratulated myself. <laughs> hey. Whew. We need two episodes a week. LMAO. Man, I'm going to tell you like I tell my baby mama. <laughs> I don't got it. <laughs> I don't got it. No, nah, for real. It's going to get to a point because we know how sports moving, but I think football season is going to be much easier for us, though. Basketball, they have four or five games a week. I can't be on prize picks and come shoot this because then I'm taking away from one thing. Carlos better increase the budget. There you go. <laughs> Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Now you're talking. All right. Oh, man. Somebody wrote us a book. Fire show. Only critique is that sports be moving fast as fuck. They put AF. So talking about how the Kings lost five days ago while these next series are already on game three. Hey, now you exaggerating. It don't be that far behind. The analysis don't hit the same because five days in sports is like a month in real life relevance. Maybe even consider live streaming the day of with no editing needed. Welcome back to Broken Play. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you do it. Nigga, fuck you talking about? Telling us what to do. But no, it's a lot going on for real. And I got to start the show off with this. Did y'all see my boy John ja Morant in the club in Atlanta? Like I told you who he was. <laughs> Bruh, he doesn't care what y'all fit, what y'all think about him. He got messed up in Denver, right or wrong. He said, I know where I could go, and the shit won't happen. It won't be frowned upon. Come to Atlanta. You're gonna get celebrated. Now he's featured on the flyers. <laughs> he go from having a little mishap in Denver. Okay, y'all didn't like when I did that. I'm finna go to Atlanta. Now I'm featured on the Flyers. You can you can see little baby Friday, and you can see John Morant Saturday. He was rapping NBA Young Boy. I told you. I know who these niggas listen to. That's why they move the way they move. LeBron, when he do his press conference and interviews, he more sophisticated. You know, he probably listen to Jay-Z, Nas, Fabulous. I, I, I give him Jeezy, Tip. You know, the, the newer music, they probably go back to the older music, but it still was like, they might talk that dope boy, but they still had an elegant way of throwing it on you. Business sense. Yeah, a business sense. Like, they'll still get the money 
but they was doing, you know, dirty shit. <laughs> NBA young boy, ain't no business. He kill as soon as the beat drop. <laughs> so John Morant don't care where, hey, yeah, I play cool in the press conference. John Morant, how you feel about, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I was wrong. Soon as he got in his car, he cut that NBA young boy back on. Fuck him. <laughs> and drove him He in Atlanta the whole summer. You can forget it. I know QCP finna sign him. <laughs> him and Coach K working on some type of deal. Because, like, he don't need the money. So they trying to figure out what can we offer him. He don't need no roller. He don't need no car. He got the bag already. He's going to offer him. I know what he's going to offer Two little baby features. <laughs> That's some money came by. If you've been tuning in to Broken Play, you know what it's all about. Make sure you get down with prize picks. They matching anything that you match. If you put up 100, they going to match. If you put up 90, they going to match. If you put up 80, they going to match. What you waiting for? You missing out on free money because I'm telling you. 76ers versus Celtics. You can't go wrong with Jalen Brown. Points, rebounds, and shit, whatever. Count it. 76ers. Harden been going crazy. You're missing free money. Suns and Nuggets. Devin Booker is a lock with the points. I don't care if they have his points at 87. I'm taking him for 88. Because I know he going to look at the prize picks. Oh, prize picks tried me. They think I only could get 87 points. I'm going for 90. He do stuff like that. Nuggets, Jokic. I talk a lot of junk about you, Jokic. But rebounds and assists, you gonna get a triple-double. Last game, the boy had 53. You are missing out on easy money. Now, I could be honest. Heat versus Knicks. Leave it alone. I can't predict that if I, I, I don't know. I will say this, Julius Randle will have four personal fouls every game. Three of them going to be offensive. Lakers, Anthony Davis with the rebounds, lock. LeBron James, assist, lock. Man, you're missing free money. Shout out to prize picks. Use code broken play. When you type broken play in, they going to match the money. And then once you get set up, you come watch Broken Play, and we gonna tell you how to keep the money. LeBron James has, LeBron James' son has committed to USC. I was gonna say LeBron James Jr., but we call him Bronny. Bronny James, USC. Clap it up for that. <clears throat> Yo dad, the best player in the world. You don't have to do nothing. You never had to pick up a basketball. Your daddy got a lifetime Nike deal, but you still was hungry enough to go get it on your own. And people out here asking, would he, would he have a chance at the NBA if he won LeBron's son? Yes. Y'all didn't say that about uh, Luke Walton, Bill Walton's son, <laughs> that garbage bastard. <laughs> You ain't say that about Mike Dunleavy. All them garbage bouncers done came in the league. Now when it's LeBron James, son, do he get Yes. And then if he didn't, I still would say yes. But now nah, Bronny could play. Hoop, for sure. Bronny could hoop. Hey, but you know who? Bryce going to be the one. See it yet. I'm telling you, it always them it. youngest sons. Look at Steph Curry. Oh, no. Nah, Steph, Steph Curry the oldest. Steph is the oldest. <laughs> yeah. Well, that ain't a good example. <laughs> I'll admit when I'm wrong, but that time I wouldn't because I corrected myself. Mellow who? LaMelo Ball. He got, he got one big brother who's decent. That middle brother, Leandro, that's a garbage bastard. He is on Basketball Wives right now. <laughs> he the first male to make it to Basketball Wives. <laughs> Shaq got a son? Shaq. Yeah, he got about a couple of them. Nah, he ain't seen it. Yeah, Sh Sharif Truth. is in the G, G League. Um, oh, and Scottie Pippen's son in G League, too. Oh, Pippen, yeah, he, he's a dual contract with the Lakers. He was on the Lakers bench uh, last night. His, oh. his, son, his son, nice. 
He played uh, with Bronny in high school. Who? Uh, Scottie, Scottie Pippen Jr.? Yeah. Uh, he ain't touched the court. It's so it probably so much going through his head. Uh, his old his old play cuz you know cause they Mike and Scotty grew up together so now he my play cuz and him my mom. And his teammate Malik Beasley dated his mom for a little bit too. Then right then that's when you gotta step in, Mama. Sit your whole ass down, <laughs> bro. If you don't date my my teammate, mom, what is it? What is it? Damn. And, and Scottie Pippen Jr., if you watch this show, it's no disrespect to your mom. I'm speaking in. No, I'm, I'm talking about your mama. I can't. I'm going to say I'm speaking hypothetically. But your mama the only one who done did that. So we don't know. Speaking done did that. James Hart. Talk to that man. He back. I don't think he ever left, Marcel. He needed a trip to Vegas. <laughs> Ever since he came back from Vegas, he been on the tower. Sometimes all you need is a little drug and a little pussy. <laughs> and I'm going I'm to mute that part. All you need is a little pussy. <laughs> no, nah, for real. Yeah, Doc Rivers was okay. He knew what he needed. Yeah. You walking around, you ain't feeling it. He said, hey, man, go to Vegas. You sure, coach? Yes, go to Vegas, boy. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to get us to the finals. And B acting like he hurt. And you ain't had no pussy all season. <laughs> Cause he up there in Philly. He don't know how to handle them Philly women. Yeah, they be they be gangster up there in Philly. In Houston for sure. Yeah, so and he don't want to keep flying women out. We got us a little break. Go out there to Vegas. They just robbing energy for sure. Man, they said that boy. They say he booked the whole hotel. None but him and seven seven thousand women. He didn't make he didn't make it to every room. So they try he trying to hurry up and close this series out so he can go finish what he started. That's what they say. I don't, you know, I don't get all my analytics from the people that that's why people watch this show. Cause I'm gonna tell you what they don't wanna tell you. But no, James Harden, all jokes aside, I'm happy for him. Bro, because they left Houston, you went up to Brooklyn, they felt like you went to missing piece. Now that whole team broken up. He is in Philly, balling, game winning shots. This ain't no him being Robin to Embiid Batman. He took over and he playing great. Speaking of Embiid, Embiid won the MVP. Clap it up for that. Look, we got one of the best sports analytic research departments in the history of sports broadcast, and it's just our fourth week. If they will pull the clip up, I said Embiid was going to win MVP. Yo, Jokic, I don't know. They saying he should win MVP, but I don't know. Not in my book. I like him beat. He beat Jokic and he beat Giannis. Last week I said he got to stop dancing. <laughs> he has to stop dancing. He deserved that MVP. But Jokic, I know I don't talk a lot of trash about you, boy. And I meant it when I said it. I still do think I could check you one-on-one. -on -one. But you is a real nigga. <laughs> you knew that was the son's owner. He went over there and pushed the shit out. Get the fuck out the way. <laughs> hey, they asked him in the press conference, Jokic, did you know who you pushed? He said, a fan. <laughs> he said, no, no, not just a fan. Do you know who that fan was? He said, was he watching the game? They said, yes. Well, he was a fan. I don't give a damn if he was an owner. Jokic standing on business. And welcome to the NBA Street Nigga League. <laughs> you were on there with Ja Morant. <laughs> Draymond. Draymond. Man, I know. Hey. Hey. And he popped them four for 53. Yo, hey. Bro. Jokic like that. 
And it was, I ain't gonna say we slept on him, it was me. I done talked the most shit about you, Jokic. <sighs> but when you push that son's owner, damn them 53 points. That when I seen right there, I said, oh, he liked that. <laughs> he said, I don't need nobody holding up the, hold, holding up the game, trying to, uh, hey, yeah, get the hell out of the way. Right. But if that would have been, but this one I have a problem with the NBA. If that would have been Draymond, Draymond would have been sitting right over there in that chair. Because they would have kicked his ass out the league. A black man pushing a white owner? Oh, shit. You think it's racism. <laughs> they would have escorted his ass out that arena that night. See, Jokic get a pass. See, that's why I like foreign, foreign players. I like foreign people, period. Because they know when to play the game. No, no English. He pushed the <laughs> shit out of him. I don't know the son's owner. Yes, you do, nigga. <laughs> Y'all know everybody on them rocks. Y'all get the printouts just like us reporters do. And I only been doing it three weeks, and I got one every week. <laughs> but Jokic, you the real deal. Speaking of real deal, <laughs> and Draymond, Lakers are up 3-1 against the Warriors. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. Ooh, and, and I don't like to take, I don't like to take pride in other people's accomplishments. But I know LeBron seen that clip when Tip said he was on Bankhead. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. That one, I, yeah. He got back in that mode. He forgot. He out there in L.A. He said, I got to get back in the city. I want to be on Broken Play. So I can tell what happened. And we're going to reach out to you, bro. We're going to get you. But, bro, 3-1 on the Warriors, and they was not favorited at all. Oh, before the series, yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, no. Duh, 3-1, you're going to be favorited now, Marcel. <laughs> Shit. Now, if they lose three straight games, bro, <laughs> sit your ass down. <laughs> Right there on Bankhead where you were sitting with Chip <laughs> eating barbecue. But no, I just like the fact that people, you know, them stories, I like how that story came out so naturally. Because now people view LeBron as like, oh, dang. You know what I'm saying? You saw the comments, like, call him LeGoat, LeBankhead. Yeah, like for sure. Yeah, the real one. Hey, but I'm trying to think, what year that could have been, Marcel? 20 what? I'm thinking... Uh, 2016, 2015, I think? Yeah, that's when he was back in Cleveland. No, nah, it probably probably before then, before he went to Miami. Yeah. I mean, oh, you think before during before that time? I'm thinking like 08. So, okay, with that being uh, said, if it was during that time, this pre-Instagram, pre-Twitter... Yeah, 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 so that kept a lot of a lot of that down. Cause you know he always go dark 30 during playoffs. So, you know, I, I doubt he gonna come in and just say, yeah, I was chilling on Bankhead. They're like, nigga, you don't even be on Twitter. So yeah. Hey, it made me think of janky promoters. How so? You remember when uh they asked me, he was like, no, you don't got young G's in the hood. Somebody probably walked up on tip. No, you don't got LeBron James on Bankhead. <laughs> this is a billion dollar nigga. Bruh. Up 3 one, 38 years old. Marco, how old are you? 23 for real? <laughs> I thought you were way much older than that. You mature for your age. Yeah, but we got some highlights coming up, and we got some lowlights. Um, stay tuned. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> this episode is sponsored by Bluetooth. That's what I was just chewing. Guys, remember the days when you was always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. Bluetooth.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime. 
as you can see, day, night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line in the pharmacy. Somebody peeking over your shoulder, figuring out what you get. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85 Sports at checkout. You just gonna pay the $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 Sports to receive your first month free because they know you're gonna lock in. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this broadcast. Joined with uh one of my my good my good brothers in comedy man not just in comedy he's a good brother period and he also knows sports cause a lot of people I be seeing them talk shit to me in comments they say now you never played that's why I bring people who play <laughs> so they can agree with me <laughs> or disagree <laughs> now nah, we got Tyler Chronicles in the building man yes sir yes sir <laughs> my man man Tyler. Yo. You been watching? You been watching the playoff? Now, first of all, hey, this is dope, man. I'm glad you're doing this, man. Oh, I yeah. appreciate you having me here and waiting for two hours before. <laughs> now that definitely went my fault, right. <laughs> and we gonna edit that part out. That had def- to put on his suit. Yeah, that definitely was. Uh, it was Thad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he letting this success go to his head, man. Yeah, Nigga was on the phone with Stephen A. for a minute or two. Oh, two. for real, Stephen yeah, A. Yeah, they trying to get this shit took down, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Thought that was having a hairline conversation. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with yours? Because I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. Hey, the niggas say I don't scream enough on them motherfuckers. <laughs> you got to get some screams in. That's how you get the clicks, man. So we don't talk about the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, man, uh, Kevin Durant and Booker. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Mm. Now, you, now you looking from a basketball standpoint. Mm-hmm. I, and I, I said Kevin Durant and Devin Booker both are highlights. Right. Do you think they play better without CP3? Now, when you said basketball standpoint, I don't know. Did you tell them what, what you mean by that? Yeah, you played basketball. Okay, I played basketball in college, and I coached in college as well. So well, It's different. If you yeah. coach in college, that's different. you coach in college, you watch a lot of game film, I can almost tell you sometimes when the game starts who's going to win the game within the first four minutes. We need you for the prize. <laughs> we need you for the right, second listen, half bro. of prize picks. Listen, bro, especially when it comes to the Lake Show, but those boys are doing something that I've never seen in my life. And KD ain't even playing his best basketball. He's not. And still Devin Booker up there, is, though. Devin Booker's playing the best I've seen since Michael fucking Jordan. No bullshit. This run. How right, are you going to say that? This run right here. This run is crazy. Of him. Like, bro, at one point, I, the, the, the announcer said that he was 32 for 40. Nigga, 40, 40 shots? <laughs> and uh, I think that was in the game two. Or, uh, yeah, game two. Maybe game three. I don't know, I can't remember. Nigga said 32 for 40. That's, that's Michael that, Jordan. That's like 70%. That huh? is Kobe. That is Michael Jordan. That is, that is more he's than 70%. Not taking, he's not going to the cup. He's taking shots. He's taking jump shots. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He found his team. spot and taking shots. Bruh, man. So listen. you are definitely a highlight, Devin Booker. Man. 36.8 this year. 36.8. He is, he is creeping up on superstar status, bro. bro. I thought it was Jason Tatum, but it's him. Tyler. What's up? You are saying what the research department put down. They said putting up Jordan-like numbers. <laughs> One of the greatest offensive performers in NBA history. That I've seen with my eyes, bro. I've never seen nothing like this. But now this is what they, they said. Has KD lifted Devin Booker's game to new heights? Do you think KD got something to do with it? Of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Now, no more double teams. Like, think if he was mm. just playing without KD and Chris Paul went down. I'd yeah. put three niggas on him. Oh. It don't make sense. But, yeah, KD, you can't leave. They, been, they left KD a couple times last game. Like, it got so bad, like, book got cooking so much, they left KD wide open. That's when you know you discombobulated. If you leave KD wide open, yeah. Devin Booker, you 
damn sure having a hell of a vibe performance. <laughs> They're leaving Kevin Durant Kevin open. Kevin Durant. Yes, several, several instances. 25. Wide open? Several instances down the stretch, bro. They they cooking, man. I don't I don't think they'll win the series just because they're not the better. They don't team. have no bench. They don't they have, have a bench. They don't have a bench and they haven't been together long enough. Like Denver's been through the ups and the downs. You gotta get beat up, dog. Like Michael Jordan got beat up before he won the championship. Only nigga that came in the league and won immediately was Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Magic Johnson. Niggas don't talk about Magic enough. Speaking of late show, Lenny Walker. Boy, it's good. The boy is the butt naked truth. <laughs> <laughs> Off the bench. Come hey, on, man. Tyler, he was so confident. I saw him taking some, I saw LeBron pass him the ball. I said, I don't know about that shot. Uh-uh. I said, me, oh shit. Let me let me put one on you. Look, I, mean, I know y'all graded the research, man. It was about a, a minute left. We had got to stop. And everybody, Austin Reeves, everybody pointed to Lonnie to like throw him the ball right now. Like everybody pointed to him. LeBron, Austin Reeves was like, yo, Lonnie, get it to him. And he went down and made enough shot. So put that up there. But listen, bro. We gotta find that clip. Can I can I say something, man? I I like Darvin Ham. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Laker fan to the heart. I'm from gotcha. Inglewood, California. Like I was born 10 minutes from the fucking forum. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My mom was watching the Lakers while she was. You know what I'm saying? Giving birth to me, damn. Oh, I thought you were going to say having you. I was like, God nah, damn. damn it. She, was, she, was going, she was in labor, but the TV's on. Oh, you know on, what I'm saying? Okay, I'm born okay. in April, so it's the end of the, she's watching the end of the season and shit. So I'm saying this to say this. He was killing me with his rotations, bro. He was killing me with his rotations. And I, I even, can I read my tweet? Yeah. All right, let me read my tweet. <laughs> Please, dog. we need this. We yeah. need the background footage. We need the background footage, my dog. Listen, man. D'Angelo Russell didn't get on board shit, though. Um, he he was trying too hard. I think he was trying too hard that last game. I think he wanted, he's tr he's trying to get back at Golden State for trading him. Remember, because he used to play for Golden State. Yeah, that's I remember he, that. He don't play like this in the other games. He be going Because that's how hard. he ended up in Minnesota, right? Yeah. Huh? All right, so there it was. This was April 26, 2023. I said, dear at Lakers, Malik Beasley is worth a wet dollar if he's not hitting shots. Let's see what Walk Lonnie Walker does with those minutes. This was April 26th. April 26th. When was the game last night? It was May, May fucking... What's it, what's the May, May, May 8th. May 8th. Come on, man. You got the right nigga on your show. Tyler, we got to have you on here. I need the correspondence. <laughs> you got when I, As soon as I see you run it up, I said, boy, they done gave that nigga the old trap furniture, and he turned... <laughs> He turned hey, this bitch all the way up. They keep leaving comments talking about, now put a banner in front of it. Nah. This ain't even the type of desk I'm supposed to have. No, nah, man. <laughs> man, if you would have seen what you would have yeah. seen what we drew up. Oh man, what you drew up, bro? Talk to me. Man, this shit, yeah, I, I had like a Fox Sports Network type of feel. Oh, word. I gotta hear I see this hospital reception desk. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas say, niggas say when they saw me first, they thought I was going to tell them to come up and sign. <laughs> I said, God damn. But no, nah, we coming along. Yeah. That's, that's, speaking of low lights, because we just talking about my desk. <laughs> the Knicks are down 3-1 against the Heat. Man. Is it over with for them? Man, listen. And who to blame? Is, is Julius Randle much to blame? Yes. The Knicks are to blame. They have three left-handed players in the game at the same fucking time. I am a left-handed player. Mm -hmm. I do not like playing with other left-hand niggas because they're always in my way. And that's exactly what's happening. So that's Barry. These niggas that's are always Rondo. in their way. And Brunson left-handed? Yeah. Brunson, He's so motherfucking Brunson smooth, you can't tell. Him. But Brunson can't even go from the left wing like he normally does. He's hurt, too. He's yeah, hurt. He, yeah, he's a little, oh. he's a little jacked up. But that's their problem. I'm surprised they made it to the playoffs this far, to be honest with you. They, they should have got past Cleveland. They're not good to me. They, they, they don't play Kareem Grimes enough. He's, he's a good shooter, so mm -hmm. it doesn't space the floor enough. You know what I'm saying? So, And then they got Mitchell Robinson, who's a non-scorer as well. So you got a lot of non-scorers, and Julius Randle is streaky. Brunson is the only one that really can go get you buckets, but he's not a three-point shooter. Hart is streaky. It's tough to beat Miami. They are a pro. And they play, they and they play team 
Miami is Ball. a program, plug and play. If you if you are on this team, you know what we need you to do, and you go do it. And I that's think what Miami happens. Heat, we should have put them with highlights, the whole team. The whole squad. Because they, they counted. Nobody Jimmy gave Butler Miami a chance. He getting all the credit, oh. which he should. I've never seen somebody so bad be so good. Who's so bad? Jimmy Butler is not a good basketball player. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga play so hard, he get 50 points. I ain't never in my life seen a nigga just play so hard and get 50. Giannis. Yes, Giannis. Sorry. Giannis is bad? Giannis is not a good basketball player, man. What are you talking about? I don't think I don't, I don't He's super that. athletic and he does shit that you don't no, see other basketball okay. players too. But the, if you know basketball and you look at those two niggas, you're like, whoa. Well, Jimmy Butler worked himself into be a good basketball yeah. player. I'm being facetious, but Giannis is not a good basketball player. Skill set wise. Skill set wise, yeah. Jimmy Butler can shoot the shit out the ball when he wants to, but by Man, you want to say something, what you say? By and large, that nigga just be bullying his way to 50 points. Yeah, he's a big man. He's not supposed to have a skill set, so James Harden or Jimmy. But he's a big man that's from overseas, and usually those big men from overseas are still, have skill sets. Yes, good call. Are you referring to? No, we're referring to oh, every oh, player that's oh. ever been in the NBA that's from overseas, from Manu Ginobili to the Jokic Vizky. to okay. Sarunas, Marcelonis. You could go back to the '80s, Deadless Frank. Yeah, yeah. Our beat of Savonis was a. It was Jokic. Our Sabonis' His father no, was not Jokic. the Sabonis' son. Yeah. You know we not talking about that garbage bastard. Man, they got it in his head, but Oh, man. Speaking of low lights, you still winning. You out. <laughs> Golden State. Mm. They down 3-1. Hey. Who is to blame for that? I, I need to ask you that because you, how you just broke all this down, we, we need to see if you can get to the nucleus of the problem. Dylan Brooks. Dylan. Golden State? It's his fault. Why? He got LeBron locked into some different shit. Draymond, Ooh! Draymond. I never would have thought of that. Draymond even said, bro, we don't know what the fuck about. We don't know this, LeBron. And they done played them three times in the finals. He said that? He said it on his podcast, like 10 minutes after the game. You know, he, yeah. over, he get You right know, I don't be watching the competition. He I stopped. Right. I don't really watch the My competition. My bad, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> fuck that nigga, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so some nigga was talking. Yeah, okay. And he said, they don't know what LeBron, even, he was like, even Steph uh, was like, yo, I don't know what's going on with LeBron. So I'm saying that to say, Dylan Brooks tried to make LeBron go crazy and try to hit 40. LeBron didn't go for the bait, and he saw what made his team good. What made his team good was making sure AD played how AD needs to play. AD been, and, AD uh, and been the, having 50 rebounds man, a game. And, and, so, and, and like they say with LeBron, like the third best star on the team usually gets hurt. Like, he was, like, like Chris Bosh numbers get fucked uh -huh. up or Kevin Love numbers get fucked up. But with LeBron... The third best nigga on the team is whoever he say it is that night. Right, Last know. night, it was Lonnie Walker. Huh. He was third best nigga on the hey, team. We're going to make sure he get his Austin shots. Real, Austin Reeves yeah. was close as hell. Yeah, Austin 20, Reeves dropped 20. 20. Listen, let me tell you something about Austin Reeves. What would you say? Austin Reeves is cooked. He, he is, he, he's, not, he's not had a good series. He played that first game yeah. of defense against Steph and was done. He came back the next game with a black leg <laughs> leg sleeve on. I ain't never seen Austin Reeves wear a black leg sleeve. I said, Steph Durant, that man's silly. But Yo. now, but my fault, but now he could, he, he's playing a little better. He had a better game because they're not running Steph off screens. He's doing all ball screen mm. shit. So now it's like, okay, I can play Austin Reeves a lot more because he's not tired and he was making shots. That's why he not, not, not as tired. But yeah. I told them, I think, he messed up that day when he said, I'm him. You think he Did messed you? up? <laughs> when he said, I'm him, he hadn't played like I'm him since then. <laughs> Would you rather him say, I'm him, or he'd be like, let's go, nigga? Because no. <laughs> that's the only other thing you can say when you cooking like that. If you say, let's go, nigga, <laughs> you better come back with another fifth. You better drop 53, nigga, be like, hey, the nigga, hey, hey let's nigga go. You heard let's the go, nigga, nigga, let's go. Shit. LeBron would have let him get a bag. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Shit. You hear Let's go. That nigga is him. Yeah, yeah. He got, he got a little excited. I take all full responsibility. Yeah, take full responsibility. You know, AR always got my back. You know, he said he always got my oh, back. Yeah. You know Golden saying? State Warriors, I think Jordan Poole, bro. I think he's been the lowest yeah, low call. light. Because the reason why I say Jordan Poole is because, Jordan Poole, you got game. Mm -hmm. You never know what somebody going through mentally and physically, but if you tricking off, ain't shit that you yeah. ain't that much wrong with you. So, so Jordan Poole, like a lot of other scorers, in my opinion, is a rhythm is a rhythm scorer. He can get going, mm -hmm. but the way that the Lakers are playing this defense with AD 
and how everything that the off- that Golden State is doing offensively is going off of AD, he can't get into the game because Steph has the ball the whole entire shit. Mm. And if Steph ain't passing him the ball, he's not shooting. Then they put him in without Steph in the game, and now it's Clay's turn to come off. The yeah, now Clay got to get going. You see going. what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, down, so like the minutes are going to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. And so then they're going at him on defense. So did you see that last turnover by Steph Curry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Was it Marcel and Don said that Steph Curry, that should be classified as a low light? The man had a triple-double the whole game. He, he didn't play a Steph Curry shooting game, but he had a fucking amazing basketball Bro, game. the man had 12 rebounds. He, had an ama- he was trying his best to win that game. 31, yeah. 31 points, 14 assists, 10 rebounds. Crazy Bro, numbers. there's nothing else I could do. Crazy numbers. And you the reason not turn the ball over like that. You nah, call a timeout. He could have called timeout. Maybe he did, wasn't thinking about, you know. Maybe last time he called timeout, they didn't have one. So yeah, yeah, so he could have been. But also, when he fell down, LeBron is standing right there. That's a jump ball waiting to happen. Like, he had, he just was like, I don't want a jump ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, and maybe he thought somebody was standing over there that could catch and shoot. He probably like, man, let's just get back. Let's just get back to Oakland. <laughs> let's just get back to Oakland. Yeah, he wanted to get home. But, Tyler, who would you... Would you say the Warriors lost that game because they had it or the, the Lakers won that game? I think the Lakers won that game because they knew what to do at the end of the game and, uh-huh. and Golden State didn't. They, they knew Lonnie Walker was hot and they kept going to him. Yeah. Like they didn't even give AD the ball at the end of the game. Fourth quarter, he rarely got the ball. But they knew, they knew Lonnie Walker was hot. They kept, they kept they feeding kept him. Feeding. And um, Golden State didn't have anybody going. They didn't have nobody going except Steph, but fourth quarter, he wasn't going no more. He was tired, in my opinion, and Clay wasn't going the whole game, so it was like, ah. I've never seen Golden State with such a bad IQ in a game Man. ever in my life like that yesterday. The first half. Thomas taking the shot with like 15 seconds left on the shot, caught a bad shot. Yeah. Three pointer missed it. Drew on two big turnovers. Well, that time, I mean, the game that they ended up winning, that Steph called a timeout, that was a bad IQ game, too, though, because he shot that shot way too early and they gave Sacramento a chance to win that game too. So they they so I was kind of excited that we got them. I would I kind of didn't want to play against the Sacramento Kings because they're so athletic and fast. I was mm. like they're going to run us the fuck out. Right, of the gym. Okay. But I was kind of go to state. They can shoot you out of a game and into a game. Where they mm-hmm. can turn the ball over so much that, you know, they would do that for They'll sure. Do that. So I was like I feel like if we just stay tight and we're so much bigger than them we got a good shot. But it still ain't over, though, because them little motherfuckers is... Nah, it's over with. Nah, bro. <laughs> they sold, they sold, bro. Who? Them little niggas, uh, uh, Steph and uh, and Clay. Let me tell you why. You about to say so? Let me nah, tell you why. I, I'm going to tell you why I think it's over. They sold, they sold. Let me tell you why. So they won them championships, right? Uh-huh. And as soon as this shit was over with, all the niggas started getting hurt. Clay started snapping all his shit. And then Steph kept coming back shoulder. Leg, Leg. Everything, everything. He missed Dr- two seasons, didn't he? Draymond, Draymond got hurt. You know what I'm saying? I think they doubled down, though, and resold that shit and won it against the Celtics. And now they still they still Tyler. got it. Like, I don't know if they got to do another little, like... It don't matter who they sell what. Nah, Le- you ain't going to Le- beat LeBron. LeBron. LeBron could sell the most. And you ain't gonna- so you ain't going <laughs> to outsell him. <laughs> that, hey, that, he done sold his son to UNC. He He's like, hey, shit. You my son ain't even gotta do oh, this man. shit. Hey, the boy for Golden State though, I say a name, yeah, Da Vinci. Yeah, he was shooting that motherfucker. Yeah. I <laughs> thought, I said, man, it's gonna be 2-2. Yeah. But the Lakers just kept fighting and clawing. The Lakers got a gritty team and people not saying that enough. Yeah. Andy Davis is playing tough. All that shit people were talking about with Looney. Yeah, you did that against weak ass or bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now Anthony Davis down there. Talk that shit to him. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he ain't got shit to say now. Anthony Davis is a monster when he want to be, bro. Man, when he want to be. Man, 23 this... and 15. Who, who had that? Uh, AD. AD. He ain't even shoot the ball. That was quiet. Quarter. He had four attempts in the second half. Yeah. That was a quiet 23 was, and 15. Yeah, that was mostly in the first half. He had some, just... oh, speaking of blocks, did you see LeBron block Curry shit? <laughs> oh, yeah. He let him go by. Like, he I let him go by. <laughs> Bitch, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah. Austin Reeves, I'm him. I'm him. Nigga. He looked at Austin Reeves. Nigga, I'm him. Nigga, I am him. You him, Junior. 
him, Junior. Nah, man, them some definitely some highlights and low lights. Ooh, so, wee. Tyler, I know you're a Laker fan. Hey, hold on, bro. What? Good call on that Dylan Brooks shit, though. I, I meant to put that shit on my story. Oh, man. When you said, like, he, they ain't gonna bring him back on the team, you said that way before it happened, dog. That's funny. I as already hell. knew. Damn, bro. They but nah, they ain't had to do it like that, though. That's foul. And you know what? I, I feel like they didn't have to, but it's like, you done brought too many eyes to our organization for the wrong reason. But he been like that, though. And it's because of you won't shut the fuck up. It's because he won't make shots. Yeah. yeah. If he was talking all that shit, like, that's, there's been players like that throughout the history of the league. But Tyler, if he would have had one highlight play against LeBron, one. you ain't gonna have shit. <laughs> <laughs> you talked all that shit. And all we see is this nigga made a whole highlight reel just this series against you. Yep, whole They rip. got playoff clips for LeBron just on him. <laughs> the playoffs ain't even over. Who would you... <laughs> I'm going to ask you this, then we'll get yeah. at Who would you rather face? Who would you rather the Lakers face? Phoenix or Denver? Man, like I say, I'm going to go with Phoenix just because I feel like they're not deep enough. And if you can get Aiton out of his game, they have no chance. Oh, he's another garbage Denver is hard to, it's hard to play in Denver, so, uh -huh. and we got to play on the road wherever we go. I think it's easier to play in Phoenix. It's really hard to play in Denver. And, I mean, as good as AD is, Jokic is a motherfucker. He scores yeah. on everybody. Right. I, everybody. I, like, I like that Phoenix, too, because... It's no goddamn way Booker could go three series like not this. Not like that, though. Like, not, not like this. If he do, drug test that nigga <laughs> after game one. Call we, me a snitch or what? If I'm LeBron, I'm like, hey, we need everybody down here. We got better defenders to throw at him than, oh, than yeah. Denver does, Vanderbilt, too, so. Vanderbilt, yeah. hey, Vanderbilt plays defense. Yeah, man, let me, tell you, let me tell you somebody who disrupts people on defense and nobody's talking about it, Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder picks up full court. He kept, he keeps the point He's guard from getting the ball. He's annoying. He's yeah. He yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. He, he's, he did that smile. On. <laughs> I hate he fucked his money up, but hopefully he get paid after this again. I doubt it. I doubt it. He'll yeah. never get what he wanted, what nah, he was no, going to get. He had 80 on the table. He had 80 on the table. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They put him with that blackjack meme. He had 21, and nigga said, hit me. <laughs> 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 the NBA so, an ace and a king. The hey, NBA so crazy, dog. Because like I was looking the other day at the Denver game. You know, Thomas Bryant was with the Lakers, and I was like, we could use him to back up AD because he could shoot, he big, he play uh -huh. defense, and he ain't even playing with the Nuggets. Then I looked down the bench further. They got Reggie Jackson from the Clippers, and he ain't getting no burn either. I'm like, what are they doing? Denver got a deep ass team they for no a reason, team, bro. For I no reason. That's why you want to see Phoenix. They could put any of them niggas in the game at any point. And you wouldn't give a damn. <laughs> That's a big night because it's 2-2 in both games. And the winner of game five is, has won the series. 80% so. Celtics and Philly. This, because mm. I don't care about, I don't care what, who win Miami, New York. It's going to be Miami. It's Miami, yeah. Yeah. But Celtics and Philly, who comes out this series? Man. He made Doka, made him fuck them out of the goddamn championship. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, literally. He might literally fuck the boys out of the championship run, man, because uh, Missoula, is that my saying the name right? I, um, I think he, I, th I don't think he can get them there. I think he's already make, showing like some cracks and chinks in his armor and some mistakes at the end of the game. And Doc Rivers, I know for a fact, is a better coach. And the two players, superstars are comparable on each team. Embiid and Harden when he plays. Uh -huh. And then Brown and um, Tatum. Shout out Jaylen to Jalen Brown. Brown still, I like, I like, I like Jalen Brown, but he's still learning how to play basketball. Jalen Brown? Yeah. Yeah. You could tell. He turns the ball over in situations where well, he should not know how to play. It's like, you don't even go down there. But even look, the end of the game, even Tatum the, don't give him nothing. Even the game the other day, they were, they were up, they were up too. And he goes and turns his back on James Harden to go double team. Everybody know you don't double team strong side turning your back to the shooter. Everybody that plays any type of basketball know that shit. And boom, they lost the game because of that. That's what I'm saying. He's still learning how like, to play basketball. He just playing off talent. Yeah, right niggas still young. They, yeah. they've been, oh, yeah. But they they've been going deep in the team. playoffs since they like rookie season. So yeah. people think they're old, but they're still young. So I'm, I'm saying that to say, damn, man, James Harden is worse than AD. Wait, Clay what you and James Harden are worse in terms of inconsistency than AD are in this playoffs right now. Because at least AD played defense every single game. Well, uh. Harden had four steals last game. Exactly. But what he do the game before that? 
Same shit we did. 26 me turnovers. Did. Yeah. Same shit me and you did. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. It all depends with James Harden. If if he comes for for two more games with the thirty piece guy, they win it. They win it easily. They win it's it. It's on Harden. So you see Philly and L. A. Championship. Man, I want to see Boston and L. A. Just for old times' sakes on some shit like that. Uh, and I ain't I gonna play lie. A younger team. I don't want L. A. To see Boston. I think we would beat this shit out of Philly. I know. That's why I want them to play Philly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why I want them to play oh, okay. Philly. So, oh, you a LeBron fan? Oh yeah, for, right, sure. for sure. For shit, right. show. Yeah, man. So you gonna be you gonna be shit. You gonna be a Timberwolves fan in a couple of years then? Why? That's where he gonna play with his son. Where the fuck, Brian? Fuck, Brian? Yeah, he gonna be. He get Colin Minnesota. <laughs> Colin Minnesota. Shout out to Lil Yachty, bitch. We have the Timberwolves. Whoever got the twenty eighth pick, that's where the fuck well, he gonna be at. I done been in five cities since Brian been in the league. <laughs> that I dude went. is special, man. Like, ain't, ain't nothing like him. Ain't nothing like we'll him. You can't meet him like on that. off the court, bro. We we'll never like see him. nothing like that. Like, and he's playing hurt right now. That's why he ain't going for forty and all that shit. He's still he's supposed to have surgery on his foot. Damn. That one niggas forgot. We forgot that. He's supposed to have surgery you on his so foot. You so used to LeBron just being yeah. a they like, he's, doing nothing, he's not doing nothing in the first place. Like, he is taking care of himself to try to get all the way to the championship because his foot is done. You can see it on some of his finishes. Hey, LeBron win the championship this year. I, I know you want to play with your son. Retire. You go out like that. Mm. They come back with us. <laughs> Ooh. Nah, you know what, though? Because low-key, we could get KD. Cause you know he go wherever the chip happened. Nah, we get KD. If man. they get KD, I don't like that for basketball. If they get KD, that shit ain't fair. Yeah, I don't like that. That shit ain't fair. Hey, but now, but guess what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a goddamn baby shit, bitch. <laughs> we going for six. Hey. We going for nineteen championships for the make sure fuck that. We man. need two more out of you, Brizzy. Appreciate my dog. Oh, my fault. We got a new correspondent to come through and just give his take on the game. And you can tell how he broke this shit down. He know what the fuck he talking about. You can talk that shit about me in the comment. <laughs> Say that shit to him. <laughs> at Tyler Chronicles. Yeah, at me. Yeah. At me. Let's talk hey. basketball. I don't even talk basketball with niggas for real, man, because I, I... You would uh, get mad. I, I used to get mad, so that's why I stopped doing it. Like, a mm. nigga try to... Like, be, especially online. Like, these niggas do not know hey. about basketball. Like, you know how hard it is to play basketball, motherfucker? Yeah, that shit like, ain't Just gonna run one suicide right now, nigga. Just do one. And then come back and tell me how you feel. Just run one suicide, nigga. Man, when we come back, we got the prize picks of the week. Oh, uh, we not gonna talk about who fucked us up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I, I missed it. Well, I'm gonna tell you since you asked. <laughs> that is that. We had we had us a four teamer to win eight hundred dollars. We get all four right, we win eight hundred dollars. We playing with the budget money. <laughs> Show money. Just show money. <laughs> I said we're going to bust the money down. Uh-huh. I like they it. They the only pick that didn't happen. But we we still won 150. So we finna run that 150 back this week, and we're going we gonna to hit their ass. We're going to get back. So, man, hey, y'all keep tuning in. We back for the prize pick of the week. And we're going to see who did the prize pick's new rankings. In a minute, broken play. <laughs> <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. It's my favorite part of the show, man. Especially after a win. Woo! <laughs> As you can hear somebody wooing, that's still undefeated Marcel. Yes, sir. Um, Happy to be here. We put us a we, we we put us a entry together. Uh, we had a four teamer. Win eight hundred. Win eight hundred. So let's let's let, let's talk about it. I picked Jalen Brown, and uh, Marco followed. Twenty four and a half was a winner. Marcel, you picked Gabe. No, you picked Jalen Brunson. 24 and a half. Yep. Over was a winner. Yes, sir. Dumb. He picked the op. Derek White. White. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker showed up. <laughs> he showed up. He saw the episode. Now, I ain't wanna talk about it. He apologized. <laughs> he said he was going through some shit. He said, I ain't mean to say no comment to you. I said, have a good game. <laughs> and he did. He was a winner. 12 and a half. 
Now that. It's one thing to be wrong. But to bring somebody down that path with you. Innocent Yvette. She followed you with LeBron James over 24 and a half. And Dom looked at him. He said, LeBron haven't scored. LeBron haven't went for 26 yet. Yeah. <laughs> huh? He, you said he ain't went for 30 yet. He told Thad that. He said he, he getting everybody involved. <laughs> Dad looked at him and said, nigga, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> and that's our only loss. <laughs> Dad, what you got to say, bro? I want to apologize to the team. I want to apologize to Yvette. I'm sorry I led you wrong. Um... <laughs> and that's what this show is about. <laughs> Following me. So, I'm going to start it off. Right now, Marcel's still in the lead. He got, uh, he 3 0. Dom is 2 and 1. I'm 2 and 1. Thad is 1 and 2. Yvette is 0 and 1. And Marco is uh, 2 and 0. The two weeks Marco followed me, he won. So, Marcel, we're going to let you start it off. Fuck it. So, you 3 and 0. Uh, yeah, you know, feels good. Uh, been doing some um, research here, and I'm going to go with Atlanta's very own Malcolm Brogdon, PRA, points, rebounds, and assists. We're going to go over 22 and a half. He from Atlanta? Yeah, he went to Great Atlanta Christian High School. You know how I pick. <laughs> so points, rebounds, and assists. So look. We did. We didn't like lose our money. We end up making uh, one fifty. It was a flex. It was a flex pick. It was a flex. Okay. So we got you. Yes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> that prime pick get you, motherfucker. We lost six fifty. <laughs> yeah, six fifty. <laughs> you happy about one fifty? We supposed to. We supposed to be in this motherfucker betting big today. <laughs> So, P.R.A., you said Mal uh, Malcolm Brogdon, yeah. Okay, got it. Locked in. Lock. Dan, what you got? Debo ain't been. Debo said he's <laughs> locked in. Man, I'm going to go, before I say my answer, I'm going to go Tobias Harris under. I'm going to take him under. On what? On points. All right. He, they got him for like 14. Oh shit, man! Now nah, he ain't, don't jinx us. Don't. This hey, series, this series, he ain't really gone over. This is what I like about. This is what I like about Prize Picks. It brings us together as a family. <laughs> we got a newbie. Yeah. State your name and tell him what you been. I'm Greg, so I'm gonna rock with Jamal Murray this week. Uh, over twenty five and a half points. Points, yeah. All right. So we're gonna see. Yeah. All right, G. Yep. All right, Dom. I'm going KD over 31 and a half. Kevin Durant, 31 and a half. I love that pick. He back. I think he back. I think he, I think he, I think last game was what he needed. That 39 he had, uh, what was that, game three? Terrible, terrible 39, but he still had 39. Game four, he came through. So I think game five, he going to get it done. And Denver, though. I think he get it done, game five. I think I think he had one of them games. It's a must win for them. So I think I think he had I think he had one of them KD games. We ain't seen one yet, really. So hopefully he go for like 45, 45 and six. I'm gonna call it 45, 45, six assists. I'm gonna give him eight rebounds. All right. I got I got two picks that I'm 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 going back and forth that I'm swinging from. I like Anthony Davis with 24 and a half points. But I love Klay Thompson, 22 and a half points. And the reason why, because he got to come back. He has to come back. But I got big money on the Lakers winning the series. So I'm going with Anthony Davis, 24 and a half points. Because, over. over, of course. Because the last game, he wasn't really trying to get points, and he still got them. All right, Marco and... Yvette, what y'all going with? Okay, I'm going with your pick. Anthony Davis. So if we lose, you can't talk shit about me. You're talking shit about us as a team. No, because 
it would be your bad luck ass <laughs> jumping on <laughs> my good ass bitch. I feel like my first time betting, it shouldn't be like a stigma of bad luck. All right, say less. Yeah. So we locked in. Yeah, so right. look, this is what we got. <laughs> we got Malcolm Brodick, Brogdon, points, rebounds, and assists, 22 more. Tobias Harris, under, 13 and a half. Final answer. Jamal Murray, Greg, 25 and a half, more. More. Okay. Kevin Durant, 31 and a half, more. Anthony Davis, 24 and a half, definitely more. Now? We're going to bet them whatever they gave us. They, bet, they gave us 150 for the win. We're going to give it right back. 150 brings us 1,500. Do not fuck this up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a prize pitch goal. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> if, you, if you enter a broken play in the prize picks, whatever you put in, they will match it. Now, this is on my account. I'm going to do the right thing. Don't worry about me running off. <laughs> Because we had to shoot the episode together. But now you get on that too. So, successfully submitted entry. Tune in next week to see who fucked us up. But if they don't fuck us up, oh, we're going to be in here. What I said, how we going to be in them club? Broken players in this motherfucking spending money. Balls of 42. Chaser everywhere. Fiji water. In the comments, let us know when you win with us. Man, no lie. I was just in Pittsburgh. Guess what a motherfucker stopped me and said? Now, what's the prize picks? Nigga, get the fuck out my face. <laughs> I'm trying to catch my flight. <laughs> you see me breathing hard, bitch. <laughs> but no, nah, man, when we come back, we got a great ass interview. A uh, great ass interview. We was uh we was lucky enough to be out there in Denver. We had the 85 South show. We was with Broncos player Pat Sertain, the cornerback. Motherfucking dog. And Browning, the linebacker. Sat down and talked and kicked Pimpin'. Browning came to the show. Rich ass NFL players. Young as hell. Millions of dollars of jewelry on. I'm not interviewing for what? I want to rob these niggas. <laughs> now, nah, when we get back, man, we're going to sit down and talk. They were real cool. Let us in and know what they, they feel like is going to happen this season. So, yeah, when we come back. So, look, we were in Denver. You know what I mean? We, we could have chilled out. We did 85 South Show. But we sat down with Denver Broncos players. The defense sat down with Baron Browning. Let us know some in-depth analysis what's going on in the Broncos locker room. They got a new coach. Russell Wilson, do you listen to Future or not? He, they let us know that. We sat down and asked the questions. The question Stephen A. went asked. One of the best cornerbacks in the league. We sat down with him. He could he, he could have went and talked to ESPN. He could have talked to Skip and Shannon. Guess what he said? I gotta get with broken play. He didn't say that. We just <laughs> but we needed him to say that. And look, if you get the number one corner, Jalen Ramsey, until you come on broken play, we just talk to the number one corner. We just talk to the number one corner until you come to broken play. We sat down with Pat. He told us the best receivers he done went went against. How he view, you know, being a cornerback. How he is a winner. He feel like Denver Broncos are going to win a championship this year. That's what he said. Man, what's going on? This your boy Nav Green with Denver Broncos linebacker, Baron Browning, man. How you feel, man? Feel good, man. I'm glad to be here, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. What, what, what's, what's some goals coming up for this season? 
Uh, just to be better than I was last year and keep progressing, just keep getting 1% better. And, uh, you know, obviously I want to have a 10-plus sack season, so just trying to, you know, chase that. You get, you get a bonus, you get that 10-sack season. Well, I'm still on my rookie contract, so I don't know if I have that incentive in my contract. Yeah, but, but it like, help for that next contract. Oh, huh? yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. okay. Yeah. Speaking of rookie contract, uh, you had watched the draft? That just, uh... I don't even lie, I didn't even watch it. <laughs> I'm already here. I'm like, yeah. I got too much stuff going yeah. on. I'm trying to I ain't rent about coming up. Coming. Yeah. yeah. But no, nah, so <laughs> what be going on during that draft uh, process, though? Like, you know what I'm saying, dude? Because you came from Texas, then you went to Ohio State. So I take it, were you a Cowboys fan coming from Texas? I really, I never really had a favorite NFL team like when really? I was younger. Like I just like watching college football. I mean, I knew I wanted to play in the NFL, but I never had a favorite yeah, team. Yeah, favorite team, okay. Because I knew I could like get drafted anywhere, so I didn't want to have a, a favorite team. See, that one on time. He knew he was going to the league. <laughs> Wh whoever <He> hired. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. But so was Ohio State one of your choices, like coming up uh, during you know high school and stuff like that? Yeah, like towards the end of my high school career, I mean, like towards my junior year of high school, they started kind of becoming more of a uh, interest for me. And then like just visiting there and just finding out more about the school, the alumni, and just everything they do for the players. It, I was so so coming from Texas, you automatically knew, yeah. like I'm gonna go to Ohio State. How that how that rivalry with Michigan? I was there, we never lost to them. Yeah, <laughs> you talking about. So what I'm saying, like, a lot of people, after they leave, like, they still carry on that tradition. You know what I'm saying? Like, they still hate the opposing team type. Like, they still get that rivalry. You see, like, the NFL players, like, say, for instance, with Alabama, they'll still put up beat Arbor week. You know what I'm saying? Ohio State players, y'all still uh, feel like beat Michigan this week type stuff. Oh, so yeah. You still, yeah. When they get around that time, I still feel like, you know, I'm there just from the training, like, all the way leading up until the season, like, around this time, when the, or a little early on in the year during one of the workouts, we have, like, at the end of the workout, how many, how many days until we play Michigan, we're doing, like, push-ups, sit-ups. Just There's a whole bunch of different stuff, and, like, it's all about just kind of being together. And, like, if somebody not counting loud enough, they cheating, we yeah. start over back to zero. Yeah, like, it's, it's y'all take it more serious, like, if y'all ain't playing Rutgers or something. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, real quick, man. So, when you get drafted by Denver, Tell me the first thing you think. Cause have you ever been to Denver before you got drafted? No, I never been here before. So like, how did like, what did you expect like with Denver? Cause it's different from coming from Texas then Ohio. I mean, I was kind of already. I feel like I was thinking about the the weather. Cause uh -huh. I had a teammate who was uh, here before he uh, got signed somewhere else. He was telling me like it was a little bit colder here in yeah. Ohio. So I was kind of thinking about that, but then when I got out here, I'm like, man, this, man, the cold is cold. Like, yeah, when it's snowing, it's snowing. Yeah. They don't give a damn what the degree is. <laughs> cold, cold, eh? That coat don't even fight some of that stuff. <laughs> man, but you, 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 you don't start becoming accustomed to them. You like it, like it pretty much? I love it out here. It's super chill. You got, you know, mountains. I'm from Texas, so I'm not used to seeing mountains. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a different vibe. And then I think another thing that I like that I picked up since I've been out here is fly fishing, you know? Fly fishing real big, guys. Fly fishing, <laughs> bro. I did not see you about to say that. <laughs> so what? What you don't like? It be the fish that you catch. You can cook. I'm pretty sure you can cook them, but I just kind of catch them at least. I mean, you kind of. Oh, it's man. easy to catch them to me. See, I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my catch, I gotta see what it fry like. I, <laughs> I gotta see what it. I gotta put it on some grease. Man, I mean, I feel like if I had more time, I would, but, yeah. like, I'm just but out there for yeah, the experience. Yeah, for the experience. Hobbies. So, like, uh, who's some of the uh, players, like, you You know what I'm saying, you got along with as soon as you got here and stuff like that? Uh, instantly, I would say, like, Bradley Chubb, Kareem yeah. Jackson, Justin Simmons, like, them all. Defense, yeah. yeah all the defense yeah, guys, all, all the vets when I was a rookie, you know, yeah, just kind of watching in, them. Yeah, that's what's up, man. How, what's, your, what's your prediction this year for y'all team? Y'all got a new coach, Sean yeah. Payne. How's he? Uh, I haven't really got a, too much of a feel for him yet uh -huh. because we only we just with our strength coach right, right now gotcha, and they gotcha. had the draft and stuff so we haven't really had opportunity to be around him a lot just from we only had one team meeting I can just tell you know he's just you know basically like forget last year that like that ain't yeah, happening at it's all. A, it's a new regime. Yeah, so I feel like everybody's behind just his whole mission and, and goal for us this year. You know, I think I get more of a better feel for him like as we That's what's get up. around him more moving towards the season. That's what's up. And when we were talking, you were saying like. Sometimes, like, if you, you, you just came from workout, so you know what I'm saying, you stay in shape. So basically, like, during the off season, what be the hardest, like, you are you still on your streak working out too? 
I would say, it, like, it depends on our season over. with. So, like, uh -huh. our season ended, like, the second week of January, maybe. Yeah. So from there, I took, like, about a month off just, just relaxing. Just chilling, yeah. Eating food I don't normally eat, you know, just, you know, really enjoying myself, having time off from ball. And then I kind of started back to train towards the end of February, all the way through leading up to OTAs. How often do they give y'all to get back in shape? Like, if you come back, say if you come back overweight, how often do they get give you for, like, all right, get back, get back right? It's kind of more so just about being accountable. Like, you, like it's people who probably don't work out at all and just show up, you know? It's kind of like on your own. Like, you need to be a, basically a pro. You know, you got to handle your business make sure you're in shape before you get to OTAs, make sure you're doing the things you need to do. So some people might not work out to OTAs, and some might have been working out since, you know, the end of January or the beginning of February. So it's all personal preference. Because if you overweight, you get fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you ain't never came back overweight? Nah, I like money too much. <laughs> <laughs> and you let them get a dollar back. Cause look, so like when you uh, when you get your sacks and stuff like that, because sometimes like, because you don't know, it depends on, I guess, the referee, if he feel like you went overboard with your, with your uh, taunting or whatnot. So like when you, like, but the momentum, it make you celebrate, like, how can I get a sack? Like, say when you sack Tom Brady, I'm not finna just get up and walk off. I gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I gotta celebrate. So what, what you think about that? Like, do you think they be kind of too strict with the celebration and stuff like the rules and stuff like that? I'm just saying they could be, you know, a little more lenient, you know, ain't yeah. trying to get fined right now. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they definitely No, nah, I, I doubt they gonna see this. They, 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 gonna, <laughs> <laughs> they gonna see this. You can talk, you can talk however you want to talk on here. Yeah, man, I feel like they definitely could chill because I feel like that's what make the game enjoyable. Yeah, like, for real. That's what make it fun. That allows you to still be that kid that you was when you was playing it since a kid because when you're a kid, you're just playing off true raw emotion and love for the game. You're not thinking about yeah. getting fined. And I feel like that's the same thing. Like, if I was to sack Tom Brady, like you said, I'm not thinking about none of the repercussions of this yeah. celebration I'm about to do. I'm about to show my ass. Yeah, he's a lot. <laughs> so, look, who were one of the players when you when you uh, got into the league that you were like, oh, damn. Like, you were kind of like, you know, not... Because, like how you said, you knew you was going to the league from the get-go. <laughs> but I'm saying, who was a player that you saw, you were like, damn, I'm really in the NFL. Like, it hit you. Definitely like Von Miller, like just Von being Miller. from Texas and yeah. he from Texas. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You and he to, went to the Broncos. Yeah, so when you start talking about defensive guys from Texas, you know, you got to mention him. Yeah. And then just kind of seeing what he's been able to do all, throughout his whole career and just uh -huh. being consistent, you know, that's what you want to do to be great. And he's like a good, you know, model to look up to. So just kind of coming in and like, oh, man, that's, that's really him, you know what I'm saying? Meet yeah. him in person. So, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who came to Denver and, and can tell you that, like, like oh, shit, that's Vaughn. So, yeah, like, yeah. that's Vaughn. So, uh, a lot of times I'd be wondering, who's a player that, you know what I'm saying, you came up with that didn't make it to the league, but you was like, hey, if, if he would have, like, you know, because sometimes we all know somebody, like, whether it was, like, you know, the streets, the grades or whatever, like, that you knew that you played against or played with, that they should have been in the league, but you, like, damn, they was, they was dope. Have too many people to even name. For real, yeah. but it's not one that just stick out. Like mm -hmm. is, we be we be looking for underground legends. <laughs> I mean, for me, I feel like the closest thing for me is I didn't, you know, only time I played against them when I was younger was just my cousins. You know, I had cousins from my hometown who everybody know what they could do on the field. You know, but just poor decisions like you said, yeah. streets or whatever. So with you being able to see that, you kind of already adjusted like when you was moving up because they were older, huh? Oh, yeah, so, and then just having my pops, I mean, he was hard on me. Like, yeah, that, shout out to pops. Yeah, he, he, he stayed on me. Look, he, he reaping <laughs> the benefits now. Pop, Man. like, I told y'all, eh? He, he was tough on me, like, I'm talking about, like, good times. Uh, James' dad to... Oh, man, James, yeah. <laughs> 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 so he, he he stayed on me. So he made sure I didn't you know get off any that that path I was on. He stayed Thanks. on me, and then obviously just seeing my cousins, they also stayed yeah. on me too. So I just had the whole family on me. What what's the first thing you had bought dad when you got got in the league? He asked for a truck, cause y'all in Texas, he ain't want no truck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't get on truck, but uh, like as soon as I got my money, I just I made sure my parents were straight. I just so, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sent them some, just made sure they was taken care of, cause you know I wouldn't be here without them. Like Man. everything I do is for my parents, like. Even, like, obviously, I want to be the best version of myself I can be throughout my whole time playing, but my main goal is just to make sure my parents straight for life. Like, they have no worries. Man, that's dope. Now, tell me this. This is the last thing we're going to leave. Name me your five top defensive players of all time. You just, in general, yeah, no order? Yeah, in general, in general. 
And I would say I'm, I'm a pass rush guy, uh -huh. so I feel like they often just have to be pass rush guys. Hey, go ahead. But uh, I would say like Lawrence Taylor, Derrick Thomas. You yeah. what? Bro, you didn't even watch Lawrence Taylor. But I'm a football junkie, though. Oh, so you go back and see all the videos. What? I, I go to my YouTube history, I probably watch it like last That's week. That's all you watch it. Yeah. Lawrence so, Taylor. Derrick Thomas, shoot. Um, I just got to put Vaughn in there. You know okay, what I'm for sure. I feel like he's the modern day version of them. Oh, okay. Um, then outside of that, uh, I'm going to name some offensive guys. I, Michael Vick was my favorite player growing up. And Ooh, then, just talking about Vick, too. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't yeah, not name like, him. And then obviously, he's not a pass rush guy, but uh, Sean Taylor. I love hmm, Sean Taylor's game bro. a lot, too. Yeah, oh, rest man. in peace. Yeah, that's dope for it. Speaking of uh, defensive guys, Dion up here in uh, Colorado now. Yeah. So, so uh, would you go check out a Colorado game this year? Absolutely. Got to support, my, yeah, support sure. my people. I mean, for obviously, sure. when I have the time to, yeah, but I definitely would uh, love to go check him out and see just the, the culture change he's trying to bring, you know, Man. to see you. Definitely. So what, what, that would have been the one school like you would have even... Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Dion can get a band in there and all. Dion, so we don't like the music they be playing. <laughs> I'd have been through too much just to go there. I'm, hey, that's, that wasn't my dream, man. That wasn't my dream. <laughs> like, Dion, I fuck with it, man. It's gonna take more than, yeah. take more than a little prime time, man, to get me up here. But no, nah, man, I appreciate you stopping through, man. Hey, nothing but blessing and success for man. you this year, bro. Thank you and so much. And keep pushing, bro. Yes, sir. It's a Shout out to here. Broken Play. Yes, sir. Shout out to Broken Play. <laughs> Welcome back to Broken Play, man. We with Mr. Pap Sertain himself, man. One of the best DBs <laughs> in the league, like, period. At a yeah. young, like, you ain't even in the league young. Like, you know, that for a long time, people are already calling you the best cornerback. How that feel, though, like, honestly? Yeah, I mean, shoot, it feel good knowing that, you know, going your second year, you already getting recognized yeah. as one of the best in the game. Cause you know, like people lie, like people lie when they go say like, you no know, people actually like this has been said about you, like this yeah. going on, you in it, yeah, like yeah. Did, did it go to your head, like are you like nah, nah I, I don't, keep I don't try to, yeah. yeah, I don't try to let it get to my head, cause everybody got their own opinions on and then such start and doing such. analysis, yeah, yeah. And then you live then for start, that, you know, you you ain't try to get like feed into the hype too much, but you know you could appreciate it at the same time, just based off you know what your work. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. How y'all, how you, how you feel about y'all this year? Sure, I feel confident. Um, yeah. Last year wasn't, you know, obviously wasn't the season that we wanted and how we expected, but, you know, we still building. You know, we still got a, you know, pretty young team. You know, with a lot of talent. And that defense you know. lit. Y'all yeah, yeah. defense out the chain. Yeah, we lit. We were like, finished top five in the league. So, uh -huh. I mean, defense gonna be there. Who, who yeah. one of the receivers that you don't like going against though? We're not saying like like going again, but like, damn, I gotta I gotta focus today. Uh, take a good Devontae Adams, good receiver. Oh yeah, you seen him two times mm -hmm. a year. Uh, who else? Who else I want to get? In? That's pretty good. Chargers got some good receivers. You know, Mike Keenan. They got some height over there. Yeah, our division really got some like, you know, good ass you know receivers. Tyreek was gone. Tyreek. Was Tyreek in Miami already, or you did? did I you played him. I played him my rookie year. Rookie year. Then How was this he? This year he went to Miami. Yeah. How was he going again? Fast. Was <laughs> Joe? <laughs> he like a little jitterbug yeah. going through the field, but yeah. Man. I want to get some good receivers so far. You know, first game, DK out the gate, and them boys. So. Do you feel like cornerback the hardest position? Definitely. Physically, yeah. Yeah. You can say QB because mentally you got to, you mm -hmm. know, make all the adjustments, all the calls, and make perfect throws all across the field. But, like, corner, like, when you're on the island against, like, top-tier athletes. It's one-on-one. It's, -on -one. it's just yeah, it's me and you, dog. Yeah. Bro, you coming from Florida. Mm-hmm. How do this Denver weather, like, it, it, don't, it don't throw you off? It did. <laughs> it took, I ain't going to lie to me, at least, like, a month to really, like, get acclimated to it. Like, the first two, three weeks, I was just out. Out here, like struggling. Yeah. Out here, just trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like you're on hunger games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started. I started getting lightheaded, having nosebleeds. Oh yeah, cause it in it, it like, so much <clears throat> there. It's the elevation as well, though. Yeah, Dang, yeah. I ain't even think about that. Yeah. Like Five thousand feet above like sea level, so 
I mean, like closer to the sky or something like that. Bro, see, you were in shape. I don't know the analytics. Right. You were in shape. I walked to Target today. And I, <laughs> I, I was lightheaded. I was yeah. two blocks. I, was, I said, man, let me take a break. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, it, it's different. You could you could tell you could tell for a minute for real though. Man, I'm gonna ask you this. What what's some of your favorite comedy? Comedy movies. You into comedy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured that. Friday, obviously. Yeah, okay. Friday after next, though. Friday after next over the regular Friday? Day Day. Yeah. Day Day. I, I, day Day, you know, yeah. all them boys. Yeah. Yeah. The Christmas one, yeah. I, I could go for that. What else in there? Give me your top five. Friday after next. Um, Harlem Nights. Oh, you know some. Uh, shoot, what up? You ever seen Norbit? Yeah. <laughs> I love Norbit, boy. I, I could go like skip for skip. Remember, yeah, remember Nor every line, bro. Uh, Norbit. <laughs> Rush Hour. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot, what else? He got a wide genre, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, like, not, it's not too like narrowed down on a yeah, specific type sure. of comedy. I'm like in all comedy, so. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of man. So tell me, you played for uh, Alabama, you played for Nick Saban. How was that like? You know, getting you ready for the league. Yeah, it helped prepare me like in the long run. Cause when I when I came to the league, you know, I wasn't you know surprised by anything. I felt for like sure. I just knew what was going on. And you know, once I made that transition, you know, just to film, study the preparation, I felt like I gotta sense of it because at Bama, you know, we was basically, you know, preparing Shit, like pros. Y'all was an NFL team. Right, the right, right, right. going to get so, the offense, quarterbacks, your quarterbacks going, you know what I mean, first round, running backs going first round. You seeing right. the NFL anyway. The whole O-line damn near go first Everywhere. round. Everywhere. And then y'all in the NFL NCC. talent, right. Yeah. So, yeah, that'd be, yeah, I feel. But your pops played too, though. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, some players, when they hit the lead, they got to make sure mom, dad, straight. You come from it. Like, yeah. we already done seen this. We know. Like, yeah. your dad, he already had prepared you for it and stuff like that. Yeah, I learned. You know, I learned a lot from my dad. I obviously go way back from him, you know, just watching me. I mean, watching him, uh -huh. um, you know, play on Sundays and sort of getting the feel for it, having, like, a sense of, you know, motivation. For sure. You know, to play the game, you know, learning from him. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> You know, watching, you know, night in, night out, you know, routines and, you know, just seeing him go out on Sundays and ball, man. So it was like a heavy motivational factor that played into it. But I know that got to be feeling good, like as a dad. Because there's a lot of dads who done made it to the league and they kids don't be not Like, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So they be like, so he come and watch his son like, oh, no, nah, my son gas out here. Like, right. but he not gas you up because you really would like that. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that'd be the difference. Yeah, that, that, I mean, shoot, it's just like, you know, cause you could say your dad played, but you gotta have like a work ethic that come yeah, along for sure. with it. Yeah, cause you yeah. can't just live off your dad's name, live, you know what I mean? You gotta actually work. Oh, no, nah, you know cause know you I mean? standing on yours right now yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so it ain't like, it ain't, nah, you standing yeah, yeah, on yeah. yours for sure. Man, we were talking like, when you were just talking about like the receivers you go up against, but it's like, y'all play the Chiefs. Pat Mahomes, <laughs> mm -hmm. he be making some incredible plays, dog, when you might think the play over. How you feel about that, like, going against? Dude, like a magician out there, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, cause like, you you look at certain stuff that he do, and it's like, how can you like prepare for that? Like, yeah. you never know what he may come with. Like, you like know what I mean? Like, watching film. Like, it like, like, look like a little horror movie. Like, watching that. Like, for like, instance, we had, we played him last year, and uh, it was like a broken play, uh -huh. and he scrambled. And while he was scrambling, like last minute, my boy just about to tackle him. Last minute, he just flicked it to running back for a touchdown. Like, man. And it's not. It's like <laughs> your teammate told us this. It's like nobody. Storm, it, it's like nobody. Nobody's not doing that for real. Like just, he's just a special talent. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, you play but, man. Yeah. So look. You being a uh, defensive back guy, you know Dion up here now. Yeah. So uh, how how you feel like you know that that change in him coming to Colorado? Well, that would have been a team that you would have looked into, or a school you would have looked into. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I ain't gonna lie to you, nah. Mm. You don't give a damn who's on right nah. now. Yeah. Mm. Colorado? But I could, Deion, Deion changing, you know, the perspective of, Period, because you know I mean? like, look what he did just with his, uh, just, Jackson State. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just and then his, coming with Colorado. You know, his presence there, you know, he's making a big change over yeah. there. And you could just see it, you know. What that, Cap? I just want to uh, ask you about you, uh, like I'm sure you played Pop Warner, mm-hmm. in high school ball, college, pro, about the different levels and the different dedication and commitment it takes to get to those levels. Yeah, I just think, um, you know, once you step in and you transition to high school, it's like, okay, I'm getting my feet wet. You know, you waiting for offers, you waiting for this and that. So you work even harder. Then once you get set, once you committed to a school, you got to work even harder. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because you basically start from square one. You coming in as a freshman, you got to compete for a job, you know, because there's also five star players, you know, around you. It's not like high school where you, oh, I'm the best player. Right. You know what I mean? So. Not all the best is right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, not all the best right yeah. here, especially, you know, Alabama. Alabama, hell yeah, you best of the best, to. you know what I mean? So you basically got to come in, like, you know, ready to work, ready to compete, you know, ready to have that mindset. Then, you know, once you get that spot, you still got to work to maintain your spot because, you know, there's other people that they offer and the other people that's coming in that's that want to take your spot. You yeah, know they coming mean? out so, hungry. Yeah, 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 coming in sure. hungry. So you, you want to maintain that, you know, that – high level chip on your shoulder and that dog, you know, you just want to keep on, you know, improving consistently. Then once you get to the league, you know, square one again. Like but now level. you, <laughs> no, the level. Yeah, right, the level. best of the best. So each transition has the same qualities, but it's like new levels towards it, for you sure. know, competition wise. Nah, that, that's a great answer you for it. You wouldn't have looked at um, Colorado. Why'd you pick Bama? Did you want to go somewhere that would have like a Mm-hmm. Or was it saving? How'd you end up there? Um, so the whole recruiting process, it was like clear cut for me. It was really like narrowed down to two schools, LSU or Alabama. Um, before everything started to go down, LSU was like, yeah, yeah, LSU was like my favorite. I've been an LSU fan since like middle school. So well, they messed up at? It was, it was just like, you know, Narrowing down the schools, you know, you go through the pros and cons. Okay, gotcha. And Bama, I feel like I had more pros than LSU. But, you know, either way, how it, it would have went, you know. You still would have been in the SEC. You know SEC? what I mean? End up in a great situation. Yeah. But I just feel like Bama, the resources was there, you know, the coaching. You know, just, you know, the Zoom speak for itself. You know, mm-hmm. the best coach of all time. For sure. Winning national championships. You know, I'm a winner, so I just... Hey, Want to yeah. be a part of that. Let's get you know it. what I mean? So, yeah, it was just. Hey, what, what how dad felt when he was seeing your country? <laughs> <laughs> you know, me me and him was like different. It's like, a, you know what I mean? Because he was second round. Yeah. That's why, why I asked why. What, I mean? why, so, what did he say when he saw your country? Yeah, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing that till damn near. I, I made my second contract. <laughs> yeah. Dad, right, like, damn. <laughs> and then it, then it, then it. You know, expands every year, so. Oh man, he ain't crazy. seen nothing. You still on your rookie country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they talking about you. The, oh man, you finna break the bank. Speaking of breaking the bank, you saw Jalen Hurts. I know. Jalen and Lamar. Back yeah, Lamar. Back. Lamar, yeah, Lamar, back to back. Oh, Lamar, Florida boy. Uh huh. So yeah, I know you rocking with that. Who one of your? Who some of your favorite players? Like not even no position, like just of all time type that you like. You know, grew up watching it like. Of all time. Yeah. Um, in the NFL. NFL, um, you can do you can do all sports. It don't matter. So you know LeBron. Oh, for sure. LeBron, he. What you think he, about him and Curry? They finna they finna play. Who you yeah, got? I mean, I want to go with the Lakers, but man. LeBron like. As I said, it can't just Curry, be it can't, just, oh, be, it can't just be LeBron. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. AD got it. I mean, I know AD gonna step up, but like it's all the other players. I feel like. For sure. They had six different. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah, he need yeah he need that help. But at thirty eight, could you see yourself playing cornerback at thirty eight, nah, bro? Nah. I mean, God willing though. You yeah. Know what I mean, but, but like if I if I manage yeah. to get the you know football is different. Like but you, hell you going, yeah, I know it's different. You, you getting you hit in, then you got to run, then you got to backpedal. Yeah, yeah. 
38 years old, I don't know. <laughs> so you say LeBron? LeBron. Um, football. Mike Vick. Um, but you wouldn't never no Falcon fan though. You just nah, like nah, Vic. Nah, I just like Vic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Vic. Um, <laughs> and they were straight offensive players. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you ever I wanted, play offense? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be a receiver, but you know, I made because in middle school I played receiver. You know, you know, when in little league you playing everything. Yeah, you play when you the best favorite, player, I, I, yeah, you ever was. You know, I'm favorite. You played quarterback mode. a little bit too, didn't you? Quarterback, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's how we is like it, bro. <laughs> Man, the person we that was a quarterback on our team ended up being a safety. Yeah. That how it be that you put your best player at quarterback if he ain't on the line or nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then I what I did, I, I was trying, I was going to play receiver in high school, you know, because I wanted to play it. Then I got a wake up call. I went, it was like I was in eighth grade. I went to this like seven on seven tryout against like the big dogs, like, you know, five stars. Yeah, yeah. You know, Who, you know some player. of the players, you remember some of the players that was out there? Um, That year it was like, you know, you know Sam Bruce? Who? He was like a, he was he was from South Florida. He was that like, sounds familiar though. Yeah, he was a ball player. Sam Bruce. Um, Damn, Bruce, you stopped my boy from being a receiver. Nah, he, he was a receiver, oh. though, but it was like <laughs> it was a lot of names there. Oh. But like I remember I went one rep, one on one. Eighth grade, I was a young pup going against like the senior, like, you know, high touted, you know, known across sure. the country. You know, I did the inside of these. He grabbed me. Straight cooler. I couldn't get off the line. And that was like a wake up call. I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to just go go to the corner. You know, yeah. I want to be on the other side of that. You know what I mean? I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Then next thing you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to play corner. But, you know, I still had some receiver reps here and there in high school, uh -huh. but corner was like, you my and, thing. and you, like, you didn't realize it at the time, but it fit you more, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, playing it corner. more natural. Last but not least. So you, you went through, you said each level, you know what I'm saying, it, it builds you up for the next level. So you make it to the NFL, you play in the NFL, you, you know, you got drafted early. When did you realize, like, I'm really in the NFL, like, who was a player that you was kind of happy to meet? Like, on some, damn, I'm happy really playing meet. against them or I'm playing with them type stuff. Um, I think it was my... Rookie year when I played against the Chiefs and I played, you know, Mahomes and them boys. Because, you know, Mahomes, he won a Super Bowl. You know, he getting known as, you know, the best quarterback in the league. For sure. And it's like when you play at the highest level and you see you going against it, like, yeah, I'm here. You know, yeah. I'm on the stage at a big level. You like so. when quarterbacks try you? Yeah. Because now, like, when he, he done made it to the point, they not going to try him like that now. So it's like. It's, it's like the more they try you, the more there's play, plays to make. Yeah. Rather than they not, then it's like you bored. Mm-hmm. Shit, with all y'all, like, they getting pressure on the quarterback, so it's like they ain't got long at all anyway. Yeah. So it's like you know not to even look your way. Mm hmm Like you know he ain't made a move this quick on me. Mahomes different, though. He extended Oh, yeah, Mahomes, like, that's different, though. I ain't yeah, I, I, want, I wish I get, had a chance to play against uh, Brady, though. For real? Yeah. I wanted to pick all Brady. But I, I, plan, I have a chance uh, to play. Well, not a chance. I do play uh, Aaron Rodgers. Cause, you know, oh, yeah. He he with the Jets. Now, how you feel about that? A good move. They young, too. Yeah. But I feel like they needed that piece. Yeah, quarterback type stuff. So you like the competition type. You, yeah, you competitive yeah, yeah. as hell. Hell, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, damn. I ain't think. Did you, you ever done picked out Pat Mahomes? Yep. Twice. Ooh, pop your shit. <laughs> yeah. Pit them all twice. Yeah. Pat, Pat Mahomes here, but you know what I noticed when you watching Pat Mahomes? He don't let that, like, discourage him. Nah. He'll come right back out yeah, and just. Yeah, he locked in for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he locked in because you can't. One thing about it, you think you got him, but once they, once they offense start rolling, and he got Kelsey and them boys, so it's like they offense, you know. They put people in the right places, make plays, and I don't know, man. It's crazy. Like going against them, it's like you know, it's 
obviously it's him and Kelsey, then other than that, it's like, you know, it's not like no high, high end, you know, you know, top tier, you know, receivers. Yeah, that you, you know got I mean? like just lock you know, in like on. like premier receivers, it's just like they put them in the right spots. But with them right. scramb him scrambling yeah. and stuff like that, the receiver bound to get open type right. stuff, so I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, but there ain't no such as a receiver that you got to. Some, sometimes you would have to uh, get on Kelsey. Or yeah, I went to get some a few yeah. times, you know. Who kind of more packages. physical and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Who besides yourself, who who some more cornerbacks you look in the league and you be like, oh no, nah, he dope too now. Uh Ramsey. Oh, for sure. Um, so they had a good year. Um, Diggs. Sauce. Oh, Young yes, Cat. Yeah. Uh Woolen. Who? Tyreek Willing for the Seahawks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he, too. he don't get a lot of credit. Yeah, yeah. So you really be watching them, too. Yeah, I be watching them yeah. boys. You know, because, you know, you you see, like, top-level corners throughout the league. You want to, like, you know, check Yeah, yeah, in. make sure, like, yeah, make sure you on yeah, your you A-game. You can learn a few things from them as well, too, so. Yeah, you, yeah, I see you really study. Man, anything you want, you want to shout out and let the people know while you're on here before we get out of here, anything? That a lot Shit. of people don't know know about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to say shout out, 85 South. Yeah, for sure. You know, y'all keep doing y'all thing. You know. Hey, shout I out, been, man. Been, do me a favor. Shout out to y'all Carlos. Boys out. Huh? <laughs> shout out to Carlos, man. Before you leave, just shout out to Carlos. By himself. Shout out Carlos too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, don't put the two on there, cause he gonna be. He gonna be gonna feel the type yeah, of way about. Yeah, yeah, bro. And shout out Carlos. Yeah, thank you. Yes, bro. sir. <laughs> God dang it. Cause he always he make be sure saying, he want to have that. Yeah, man, he be bragging, right? Yeah, he be saying I, I yeah. won't be showing no homage from a show he gave me. So yeah. I got, I got shot him out. But now, nah, man, a lot of people don't know you. You into comedy big though. You like who? Who some of the uh, generation? This generation right now, comedians you like watching? You know, this generation I feel like it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, every like Drewski, he got the skits. Yeah. Um, Desi Banks yeah, okay. skits. Um, ha Ha Davis, you know, yeah, yeah, for them sure. boys, they, they be on it. So, um, compared to like the old generation, like stand up comedy, like Cat Williams, Chris Tucker, yeah, Jamie Foxx, for sure, know, Mike Epps. Hey, know, still get well too, Jamie Foxx, yeah, too, yeah, man. For, sure, for, sure. for sure. What's Lil Wayne's best album? You say you Lil Carter Wayne? 2. Ooh, you Carter 2 or 3, you can't go wrong. You got that old Carter 1? Carter, Carter One, Classic Two. Yeah. Yeah, that Carter, Carter One. Then he got like his mixtapes too. Yeah, what's the best mixtape? Dedication. Two. Okay. D two. For sure. Nah, oh, man, I appreciate you pushing up on it, uh, man. Best strip clubs? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, love I think Miami, either Miami or Atlanta. Either Miami or Atlanta. We got to take got a Magic pole. City. We got to take a pole. Magic City, that's that's over Raven. You know, that's over the top. Uh -huh. uh, but Miami got some strip clubs, though. We got Booby Trap. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you really Texas. in the trenches. What the most you done spent? I don't know if you can say off record or on record. If, if it's off record, we'll just bleep. <laughs> <laughs> what the most you done spent at the strip club? Off record, we gonna bleep it. I know that look mean, God. <laughs> Man, I went crazy. I thought I was big meat. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Really and that yeah, and that, that was, was a good night. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, it was on swole. It was yeah. on swole. So yeah, you just you talking about big ballers in there. It's all like you know, I got a splurge. You know, so all that that was that was up though. So, but yeah. Yeah. It don't be awkward, it don't be like... I mean, we, um, we don't try to play it, like, obviously out of respect, because, right. you know, he he talk about it, but, like, he's not pretty, you know, he don't care about it too much. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, he, he, you know, he locked in on what he got to do. Yeah. You know, so... Man. too much on. But what Russell, like, what what music do, is he into, like, or he just be in... I just don't he, see him turning up. He R&B. He R&B, R &B, oh, okay. you know, Sierra, gospel. Yeah. Uh, you know. Got a new quarterback, new coach coming in. What's your expectations for the season? I got high expectations. For sure. Um, the defense played like defense side last year, yeah. Yeah, defense played well, but. Y'all with a new offensive-minded coach yeah. that kind of, like, I feel like going to pair well with. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I think it's going to help. 
because you know he's been he's seen it all and you know he was he was with Drew Brees you know what yeah. I mean so he know how to like work a situation mm -hmm. with like shorter quarterbacks. Right. That's that's his mo. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Hey, uh, when you first met Russell, did Russell like how how was it? Like, do he cuss? It? He don't really cuss too much, do he? Nah, not for real. Yeah. Russ, like you know he he stay out the way for real. He don't try to get in all the you know the mess, the drama. You know he's he stayed him family man. Yeah, that was so like he's a good role model good, type yeah, stuff. Yeah, good excellent role. Cause model. he probably like one of the uh, the oldest oldest players on the yeah, team. Yeah, huh? yeah. So he like yeah he in veteran mode. His faith sure. high, you know. So he. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's seen and, it all. and he done got a he got a Super Bowl, yeah. so yeah. it's like yeah. Should have had two. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. He he gonna get two now. We yeah. gonna say that. Hey. That what's up, Pat. Yeah. So man, yeah, definitely appreciate you yeah. pushing up, man. Appreciate it. And man, hey, good luck this season, bro. You know it. Do yeah. your thing. Yeah, pro got to, got to build. Sure. Yeah, yeah. All pro, pro bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Super, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Baron Browning. Shout out Pat Sertain. And man, most importantly, shout out to y'all for watching. This been Broken Play. This your boy, Nam Green. Make sure you check us out next week. Leave them comments. We need them comments. Leave the comments. Share. Let everybody know what's the new best sports show out. Another episode of Broken Play coming next week. <laughs> <laughs>